there is a lot that I could talk about. I could whine. I could complain. I could critique. There's a lot to be critiqued about this team. But when the game ended, I was mad that we didn't win, but I wasn't embarrassed. I wasn't like, I honestly feel like I just watched those players out there give everything they got. I feel like I watched those coaches out there give everything they got. So um, if you're looking for a video that's going to talk about the same talking points that we've heard all season, I don't know if this is going to be the video. First of all, if you're a Florida State fan watching this video, you should be talking your talk in the comments. You should be talking the talk on the timeline because I thought Miami was good enough to come in and beat this Florida State team, and it came down to the last play and. You know, I don't like Florida State. I hate Florida State. But in a rivalry game, when you just watched a heavyweight match, you know, back in the day before, you know, people used to just pick up the pow pals and, you know, it used to be you versus somebody else. You throw the hands and whoever won walked away. It's whatever. But you respected each other. It's like, you know, hey, I just gave that man the hands, but I respect him. Or look, I just got the hands and. But I, but I stood my own, right? That's how I felt tonight. I felt like, obviously, if Florida State would have lost, they had a lot more on the line than us. But it wasn't for the lack of effort. And Miami lost, and it wasn't for the lack of effort. We saw Emory give an arm. This man literally gave an arm. We saw him run over a uh, Florida State defender to get a first down. Truck stick style, like straight run him over. No slide, nothing. And then we saw what unfortunate where it looked like he's going to be out for the season because he ended up getting an arm cast. Salute to you, Emory Williams. We saw Cam Keachings battling. Leonard Taylor get injured. These boys, they still going back out there, fighting, fighting, fighting. Florida State gets up two points. Doke is rocking. Oh, oh, oh rocking. Jacoby George, ah, catch, juke. To the house. These players never quit. And I just can't get on here right after a game and just say, we should have did this. We should have did that better. I do think there are some things we could have done better. But, man, when I, when I I it wasn't for the lack of trying. It wasn't for the lack of effort. Right? So... <laughs> Man, 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 what a battle, what a battle. Okay, so when I look at the coaches, and I've already been in a couple Twitter spaces, so I wanted to see what people were saying about the coaches. People were mad at Mario's time management. Why? Right, because Emory gets hurt. Tyler Van Dyke has to come in the game. Tyler Van Dyke is the one who's moving slow. Shannon Dawson is even over there saying, go, go, go. But even in the fact, there was about two minutes left. There's a the 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 clock stops at the first down. You have a timeout. You just put in a quarterback who's turnover prone. There is no reason to rush. You look at this like it's the last drive. And we're either going to go to overtime or we're going to go for two. Or we're going to lose. And we ended up getting the last drive and we lost. I guess people wanted. I don't know what people wanted. People people were saying that Shannon Dawson wasn't calling shots. The very first play of the game, us backed up in the end zone was a shot. There were several shots down there. You know I could complain about the refs, but the whole the whole referee was terrible. Versus Miami and there was some missed calls towards Florida State. And Coach G. I just, I just don't know if we're looking at this game, if we're talking about Miami versus Florida State, I don't understand how people can say Mario did have this team prepared to play. Shannon Dawson, who's going into Doak with a true freshman quarterback, didn't have this team to play. People say he was conservative. I saw in the second half, after, but after we had chunk yardage running the ball, 
us run or pass the ball three times in a row. We have players drop passes. We have bad throws. But I feel like if you want to critique the 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 play calling, the only time you can't critique the play calling is if it works, right? So, for instance, if the very first play of the game, Emery throws the ball in a – if a safety slips, Jacoby George catches it and takes it to the house, the narrative is Shannon Dawson came out gun slinging, but he comes out and does it. Emory throws it to double coverage. It doesn't work. And then now the narrative is Shannon Dawson wasn't aggressive at all when he threw the ball over 20 times. Right. I mean, I looked at our office of line and thought there was a couple times where, you know, and like I said, I, I'm going to talk, I'm going to do critiques later, but I just don't understand how people have a, how after that game you didn't see players giving arms and limbs and legs cam keaching's licking up uh, limping off the field coming right back in i don't know man I, I know this is a video one of those videos where i'm just rambling and mumbling and bumbling and guys i'm going to be coming out with more videos but as for the miami versus florida state I'm mad that we lost, but I'm proud of this team, man. I'm proud of this team. They gave everything they got. And sometimes in life, you you can give everything you got and it don't work out in your favor. But the question is, what do you do after that? Do you learn from this? Do you get better for this? Does, do you let this motivate you? And we'll see. Because I saw a team that didn't quit. I saw a team that, 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 that fought to the end. So... Um, we're going to be talking about this game for the next couple days, but I just wanted to take my time out in this video and just say I'm proud of the Canes. I'm proud of the effort they put out on that field tonight. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Peace.